movie review time. No matter how tough <laughs> Daniel and I are watching this movie, Storks. It's new and we have not seen it yet. We will let you know what we think. He has not been feeling too great this weekend. We will keep trying to make him feel better. Mm -hmm. I just woke up to nap up and down. Okay, Henry is just itching to sit on me. You want to sit on my lap? Okay, I'll sit right here in this chair. Where's your baby? Oh, what a good boy. You need to sit down. You need to let your back down. Come on, relax. So Storks, very cute. Very cute animation. Very cute music. Soundtrack was a great, cute story. I think probably the only problem is like the whole premise of it. <laughs> Little kids are seeing it. It might be a little confusing because the babies all came out of a factory. And although we know that's not true, they might think maybe mom and dad are lying someday when they tell them babies come out of other places. <laughs> that was so cute. I love the end when the girl finds her family and they're all like redheads just like her and there's like a million of them. <laughs> all right, peace out. Well, we all were in the car and we're going out to Get some fresh air. Dan's all loaded up. <sighs> Hopefully he does well. He's been really fussy. He's been having some little tummy troubles. It's sunny, it's warm, it's nice. I need to get some medicine at CVS and just a couple things at the store. Maybe take, you know, hold to you know where. Wow, is that sun bright? Yeah. Happy New Year. Hey, Police Navi Dad. No, wait a minute. That's not right. Yeah, Happy New Year. What are your New Year's resolutions? Ugh. Any? <sighs> you know, I had none I can say on camera. <laughs> okay, we'll take that as a positive. At least he has some. Taking Daniel to the grocery store. Oh, they already went in. We're getting groceries. We have successfully completed our grocery shopping with a happy boy. Is he happy? And I'm not talking about you. I've got a smear on my lens. Hold on. Ooh, that's a lot of blush. So, hi, Happy New Year, friends. We just went to the store, picked up just a couple of things we needed. And uh, there's Daniel. He had a He's very happy to go grocery shopping. Bump. Go a little slower over those speed bumps, honey. You're sending us flying back here. I'm like, where's the speed bump? Holy crap. When I said, when I said it to myself, we were going over it. <laughs> There's the other one. <laughs> the doggies? Huh? Can you take Henry to the dog park? Who's here? Oh, there's lots of friends here. Just a couple minutes to let the Henry run. Get some more uh, sunshine and fresh air. We're holding hands. We're good buddies. Here, I hate this wheelchair. Down. Either it chokes you or it slips off the edge of it. We gotta get him to do something. He's going crazy. Henry, you wanna go there? He does. So take him. Go with mama. Okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. Okay, we're going now. Hello, here's Julie's dog park report. There's a lot of dogs here. And that's all I have to say. It is warm and sunny and muddy and doggy and barky and lots of people talking and happy new year day. Should have known better. It's a good day for the dog park. We're gonna go home after this and Make some food, some big ziti and a pork roast. And then John's parents are coming over around seven when Sarah comes home, because they haven't seen her yet since she's been back from Ireland because she was sick on Christmas. And Henry's just up here in the little dog area where he likes to go to have his privacy, you know, to do his thing first. And then he goes and plays. It's really muddy though. It's like everything thawed and melted and there's nothing grosser than dog poop mixed with mud, but most people pick up. It's been really pretty nice here lately. Dogs, owners, dogs.
Daniel was outside for a little while. We've been in the kitchen together, um, peeling potatoes and what did we do? We chopped onions. It's a good move. Went to the dog park. He didn't get out of the car though. It was really muddy and I took him outside here and we walked up the driveway, down the road a little bit, came back. It's re it was really warm out today. Daniel, would you like to turn the Christmas lights on, honey? Oh, would you like me to turn on the village? He loves it. I'll turn it on for you. Hold on. Hold on. He likes these. But we can't look at them for too long. They're not good for your brain. It's like strobe lights. This jacket is on him because he has short sleeves on. See? You like his new shirt? It says, Brooklyn, the boroughs. Huh, New York City. We love New York City. Hi, Henry. Hi, buddy. Wanna go up, ups? Wanna come up, ups? Mm. Can Henry come up? Mm. Daniel said yes. Come on, up. Up. Up here. Daniel, you got your buddy. Okay, let's go back over to the kitchen. Stay there, Henry. We do this a lot, you guys. Just <laughs> That's nice. What a good boy, Henry. Are you comfortable? You look pretty comfortable. Lay down. Sit. Sit. Hi. Daniel, he's so, feel his hair? Mommy combed it the other day. Gotta, gotta do it again. Every day. We should be doing it every day, huh? Stay there. He's nice. No kisses on the face though, down. Good boy. Okay. Yeah, Henry. Henry. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. Come on, fluffy butt. I know, he doesn't want to come off, but... He's always kind of tired. It's like drowsy. He was like this yesterday too. He did well. We went out. And I wasn't sure how it was going to be. He loved the grocery store. He was smiling. And I got yelled at once for vlogging at the Big Y. <laughs> Why? I have no idea. But I don't vlog in there. That's why I turned the camera off. We were walking in. I'm like, eh, I don't want to get yelled at. What do you see over there? The light. He likes the lights. Okay, you look at the lights. I'm going to stir the sauce. This is what I have going on in my kitchen right now. I have a homemade sauce going. i got to put the pasta in because I'm making a baked ziti. And then I have a pork roast cooking in the crock pot. I just put it in there, but it shouldn't take, shouldn't take more than two, possibly three hours. And it smells amazing. I found a recipe online. So we're gonna have that. John wants noodles. I want some mashed potatoes, salad, I don't know. And I'm doing a whole big baked CD because 
Thomas really likes to have that like meals during the week and it helps if it's already made but they tend to eat a lot more but whatever I'm cooking it's a holiday right we got one of these things just because my in-laws are coming over for coffee dinner yeah. time dinner stop vlogging I'm vlogging I did it first did you eat all of yours already happy new year happy new year Happy New Year. Stop vlog bombing me, woman! You want to kiss me? So many cameras are going to kiss me. Ugh. I'm the bomb, man. I worked really hard. You know, I got it all together. It smells good in the house, too. Doesn't it? Question. Day. Wait a minute. What was the best part of Thomas's day? Four Nothing. hour nap, I told you. Thomas's four hour nap. The best part of my day? No one asked. Was I made a joke, but it wasn't funny. When Daniel was happy to be outside, I guess, and in a good mood. Oh, we went nice. outside. Yeah, we went out. We went to the dog park. We went. Oh wow! And we went to Big Y and picked up a couple of things. He was in a good mood. I wouldn't have gotten that from Dad when I was like, "How was your day?" And he went, "Eh." And spending the day with John. It was the best part of your day, John. Oops. Um, How can you get apple cider? I asked like yeah. maybe five times if anyone wanted an applesauce. Don't give me that crap, Thomas. We have seen. Best part of my best part of my day was when we, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, guys. <laughs> what was the best part of your day? Best part of my day is right now, because I've been at work pretty much since I woke up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I How come you're in a green sweater? You can wear green at Target now. She changed Julie. <laughs> Listen, I'm a little I'm tired. So sorry, Sarah. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner now. I said, I'm gonna go change so I'm gonna get khakis when Grandma and Papa get here. Oh, that's right. Yes, we're having company. Right. Today was kind of fun. Good day overall, I guess. Nice New Year's. We had a really nice dinner. And I made enough food for tomorrow, which is good because. I just found out that my nurse is not coming to work tomorrow and I have been my shoulder and my elbow now hurt on my left arm. Oh, Henry, what did you do? You just started coughing, do you hear that? Mother and father-in-law came over to see Sarah, especially because they didn't see her since she came home from Ireland and she had some gifts for them that she had brought back. And they had a nice visit. Sorry, I'm putting on my dog walking shoes while I'm talking to you. Are you okay? Sometimes he gets like a tickle in his throat and he has this little cough thing. Sometimes he plays with the cat and you look at him and he's got cat hair on his mouth and I think... <gasps> or he ate something that didn't agree with him. Are you okay? Go have some water weird. Henry. Okay. Daniel's falling asleep in there. Everyone's tired. And it's the start of a new year. So I, hopefully if I get some time, I'll do a video about that tomorrow. Right now I'm just kind of beat and tired. <laughs> you know, it's a long day of getting Daniel up, getting Daniel down, standing Daniel up, standing Daniel down, getting Daniel in the shower, going for a walk, coming back, doing meds, changing diapers, writing everything down in the journal book. It's kind of hard to pick up the camera all the time when I'm on duty all weekend. On, I'm always on duty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I don't have my helper. So it's okay. I don't, I don't mind. It's just, it's a lot of work. I like when we sit around, um, and talk about our favorite moments of the day. We, I think I showed you a little bit about that, but we do that when we sit down for meals. We always, you know, what's the best part of your day? So it's a nice way to open up a positive conversation. Just say it. Anyway. <laughs> I was gonna start taking my tree down tomorrow. We'll see if I don't have a nurse. I might be busy with Daniel. But today was really nice and we got to get outside and um, I took the dog over to the dog park. We took Daniel out for a little walk uh, too and to Big Y. So he 
wasn't fussy that entire trip, which was good. He doesn't seem to be as um, uncomfortable as he was yesterday, but he, he has something going on. I gotta call GI if it continues into tomorrow. It's like, uh, for lack of a better word, he's just like always pooping a little bit. Sorry. Um, it's not diarrhea like a, from, a, from a stomach sickness. So I don't really know what's going on there. He takes, sometimes takes Miralax and sometimes takes um, suppositories if he's having the opposite problem. But this is just strange and it's been going on for a couple of days now. And you have to watch it because even though I change him every five seconds and I'm like running out of diapers, so I gotta call the diaper company tomorrow. Um, he, he can get a rash, you know, and it hurts. So I have to deal with that too. This is just life, people. This is just life with an incontinent 19 year old. It's just part of everything else, you know? So it's bad for him because he's not comfortable and he needs to be comfortable physically. And that includes, you know, the whole diapering thing. So I have to make sure he's always like utmost clean and neat and cared for and comfortable and happy and positioned and, and uh, I don't know. It's just weird it's just a weird thing so anyway I always try to put myself in his shoes and think how would I feel if that was me I wouldn't want to be you know left with that you know I'd like someone to care for me <laughs> oh, my gosh. oh poor Chris I feel so bad my mom had a heart attack and I just got a message that his dad had a heart attack so I don't know anything I don't know how bad it is so I'm gonna try to get in touch with him and let him know that we're thinking of him Boy, crazy. Times are so crazy. Whew, it's really hot in my house right here. You see, I'm like sweating. This heater here, this um wood stove, it works really good. <laughs> so good that sometimes when it's warmer outside like it is today, it gets hot in the house. Everybody retreats and we have the fans going and stuff and we open a window. But when it's like sub-zero out, it is... A blessing to have the heat from the wood stove I don't even run the oil in here I don't even I mean I keep it on 60 just to keep it moving but the whole downstairs doesn't even need the heaters running so we save a lot of money our oil price just keeps going down 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 so that's good news what am I talking about I don't know I'm rambling because I'm hot from the wood stove oh yeah. this is how I am all right gonna say good night I will vlog in tomorrow and touch base with you guys and hopefully get that vision board thing moving um, or just more of what I did today <laughs>